Okay, try and talk. Hopefully, there's not a wet, enough wet, uh, too much wind. But uh, yeah, we've gone from reaching upwindy to reaching to we're now under the A3. This is the A3 spinnaker and first reef. You'll notice we got um, dagger boards quite a way up, especially the lured one. Um, only got uh, two meters of dagger board down on the lured board here. Uh, other side we got two and a half, so we still got some traction in the water because our apparent wind is still quite far forward and wants to push us sideways. Uh, the actual true wind is quite far behind us. But, um, yeah, chugging along, bouncing over the ocean. So look at our main. There we go. First reef, nicely tucked in. Leaving the world behind. Yeah, morning has risen again. We've been bouncing around in the bunk most of the night slash morning. Uh, so we're going to talk about trimming this thing. Um, thought it was a good be a good idea to look at trimming uh, performance multi hull, particularly the mainsail, because um, it's with this particular one it's super easy from inside. It's uh, that button, that button, that button, that button, that button, that button. Um, so this is my Traveller port and starboard, and this is my main sheet, in and out, slow and fast, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's have a look at our main. Oh, that little bad boy up there. Um, now our last rotation, we got in about where we need. The um, twist is looking nice. So all we're doing now is controlling um, the speed and our power in the wave state. Um, this boat's quite cool. Uh, we got load cells, so this tells me how much load there is on the windward shroud, on the leeward shroud, and there's a buzzer that goes when it's all too high. Um, if I'm not watching it, no, it goes too high. Now let's have a look out here at it. it is. Track, Traveller, uh, it's got a line driver in there that makes the push button thing move that backwards and forwards. Uh, main sheet goes into the boom, the boom goes to a hydraulic ram which means I can push buttons to make it all happen. Right, let's go push some buttons. Oh, I should be pushing some buttons about now. <laughs> okay, so I want to power up. Uh, let's, let's start. We've got to get the shape right first. So we get the shape and the twist basically right first and that we do with our main sheet. So we do a main sheet in and out 
which controls the twist of the leech here. So it tells us how open or close. Right, let's use a bit of sheet out and watch, watch the leech. Oh, there you go. See it all go floppy and change. Right, main sheet back on again. Stand the leech back up. There we go. Right, so I'm controlling my twist with my main sheet. Now, I want to control how much power the boat has. So the, the ability for the main sheet to sort of pick the boat up and put power into the rig. And that's done with the traveler. So, um, where we're doing 14s at the moment. So I'm at the um, stage where I could possibly look at dropping trav. So if watch the traveler, I want more power. Traveler comes up. Oh, a little bit too powerful. I'm getting nervous because um, the windward hull gets a bit flighty and I drop the traveler. And that's basically how it works. <laughs> so your traveler is actually the number one um, control on these big multis. Um, it controls the power and the flightiness of the boat. Um, so an easy way to look at it is as a lever, there's the middle of the boat there. And if we are trying to pick the windward hull up, it's easier to pick the windward hull up, obviously, from the windward side. Uh, Easy-ish easy -ish to pick it up from the middle. But as you get to the leeward side, it's actually really hard to pick the hull up from down there. So that's a it's, a, it's a very roundabout sort of way to look at it, but that's how we used to talk about it and feel it feel it in our A classes, especially downwind when we, before we went foiling and um, we'd do the wild thing, we'd actually move the traveler up and down the track to um, have it pick the hull up to, to fly the hull downwind. Obviously I'm not trying to fly the hull in this thing, so, um, but the same principles apply where I am trying to keep this one here, the windward hull, uh, in the water um, and keep the load out of my shrouds because um, I don't want to load everything up too much uh, and this this is a good indication if I'm if it's two o'clock in the morning and you lose visual on this bad boy here um, this is a good indication as to where you're at um, yeah so that's <laughs> that's that's a very rough and ready basic um, how we trim the, the main on the uh, big multis. Now you can see why I like this system versus the two main sheet bridle system on my cat. So to do exactly what I did, um, like I can set my twist, all right? I can set the twist up here for this system. And all I do is just ease the traveler or bring the traveler on to power it up or depower it or if we bear away, I just use the traveler. Um, so you've got two very specific controls for controlling the um, the shape of the mainsail. Um, whereas with my double bridle system on my cat, you can't do that because you're controlling both of those controls. Right? You're controlling both of those elements with uh, one control. So if I want to ease just ease the main sheet on my double A frame one. If I ease the windward one, the boom actually goes up and opens and twists the thing. So I've actually got to then go and pull down the leeward one. And to try and keep the boom at the same height or the twist the same, it's near impossible. Um, so it's very, very difficult to trim. Um, whereas this system, it's just, well, super easy with a push button. But even when it's not push button, and you're at a winch so this this actually has set up so when you do have full crew and you are in a bit of a race mode we can actually set the traveler up from this clutch to this uh, winch here and we can actually have someone here pushing the winch buttons here and you um, and you actually just play the traveler 
by hand. Uh, it's very fast, very sensitive, so if you are flying hulls, uh, this is where you're at. <laughs> you're sitting here playing that rope and flying hulls and um, racing along, but we're definitely not doing that today. So there's 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 a, a look at a nice main sheet system and how it's uh, used and why it's um, why we like it <laughs> um, and the advantages of that system versus the A-frame one. Um, there are big cats that have the A-frame one and they have two push buttons. Um, and it is a little bit easier than mine in that it's two push buttons so in mine I've got to manually ease one winch and pull on the other one with the push button one you can actually push one button and release with the other button so it's a little bit easier not such a pain um, but the control is still not there um, particularly if you're wanting to push things a little bit harder but even in cruising mode um, Oh, there's my beeping. Yeah, okay, 10 tons. So, just drop the traveler, boom. It was literally drop the traveler, I dropped the traveler this far. Um, to drop the traveler that far with the other system is a small nightmare. Uh, so, yeah, this is a much nicer, more refined way to tra trim your main sheet. Anyway, I'll um, go back to sailing the mighty bus.